You see the little shit going. That's a video. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz makes a statement <clears throat> on his social media. He says, I'd like to fight Dillian White and shut him up. Wow. You know, I've heard <clears throat> this back and forth from Dillian White, Andy Ruiz, for a long time. <clears throat> now, supposedly there was a contract that was sent to Andy Ruiz and Andy Ruiz claims that it wasn't real. You know, I think, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, I think Andy Ruiz now, he's getting back to where he needs to be as a fighter. I mean, like physically. Um, and I think now he's getting hungry. He's getting cocky, okay? He's smelling himself a little bit. Now he wants to call out Dillian White. <clears throat> Now, Andy Ruiz hasn't joined or he hasn't started the training camp with Eddie Reynoso yet, but I think just the knowledge of going with Eddie, and we know Eddie Reynoso is the trainer of Canelo Alvarez, which is one of the pound-for-pound -pound best fighters. I think that is a reason now he's calling out Dillian White. <clears throat> but I will say this. He had the opportunity to fight Dillian White, okay? He had the opportunity to fight him. He just refused. He said it was never sent. He said it was fake or whatever the, the claim is. But then weeks later, he turned down a fight with Luis Ortiz, okay? He turned that fight down with Luis Ortiz and saying that he needed a tune-up. Now he's fighting someone like Chris Ariola. Look, <clears throat> We have to consider what's going on with Dillian White, okay? And then what people are going to do, and this is what happens in the sport of boxing. If Dillian White tells Andy Ruiz, like, no, you had your chance to fight. I'm waiting to get my, my title shot, which I've won in court. I've taken legal action against the WBC to get my opportunity, okay? Knowing what we know about that. Why would he give Andy Ruiz an opportunity now when Andy Ruiz could have fought him earlier? Okay, but that wasn't the case. So <clears throat> Andy Ruiz calling out Dillian White now. I just think that he's in shape and I think the idea of fighting him looks more realistic now because he's in shape. He's lost about 30 pounds working his ass off, you know, showing us the videos and, and, and you know, <clears throat> but... Of course, we don't know how much he weighs, but he does look more in shape than he did on December 7th, okay? So, I think that's uh, Andy Ruiz. I think that's just one of his long-term goals. I don't think that's anything that he really wants now. You know, if you wanted to shut him up, you would have took the money, you know? And Dillian White, I don't think he's a guy that claimed to want to fight Andy Ruiz and didn't fight him because Eddie Hearns was involved, okay? Now, unfortunately, Andy Ruiz is a PBC fighter, and I say unfortunately because a lot of those guys have a reputation of claiming that no one sent them an offer and where they really did receive offers. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> Danny Garcia, um, Jermel Charlo, uh, Luis Ortiz didn't even know about his particular offer that was even sent to him. Okay, so... That's the people that name a few of a part of the PBC that claim that, hey, no one sent me anything. I never got an offer. Send me an offer, right? But um, I think Andy is saying this, you know, to stay relevant. I know he's going to start training camp and he's, you know, putting his name out there and letting certain fighters know like Dillian White, hey, I will fight you now, probably as opposed of, of a few months ago, because I think a few months ago, he wasn't ready to fight anyone. If he was ready to fight someone, he would have took the Luis Ortiz fight. Did he take the Luis Ortiz fight? No, he didn't. So it's hard for us to believe that he'll take or he was willing to fight Dillian White and not willing to fight 
uh, Luis Ortiz. Come on now. We know, oh, I need a tune-up. Uh, I'm not ready. Why aren't you ready for a fight like that? You know, you're the former unified, under, unified heavyweight champion of the world. Okay? But yet you reneged on Luis Ortiz and then claimed Dillian White never sent you anything. Where he's letting every him and everybody, including your mama, know that, hey, I sent you a contract. I think it was for four million pounds, I believe it was. Right? So, him saying, <clears throat> hey, I'm ready to knock him out to shut him up. Dillian White's been talking a long time. He's been talking a long time about Andrew Ruiz. Ever since Andrew Ruiz upset Joshua, Dillian White's had something to say about Andrew Ruiz. He said, I would, I would jab him, double jab him, jab him to the body, you know, box him, you know what I mean, beat him up. He's been saying that, okay? So, for him to say, oh, I'd like to shut him up, dude, he's been talking forever. And there's nothing wrong with if a person you claim never sent a contract over, there's nothing wrong with sending one back. You have a team. Your dad is your manager, right? You have Al Heyman. Make the offer. If these guys are offering this amount of money and they're, they're saying they offered you this certain amount of money, sure, send us a contract to reconfirm. See, these things can really be weeded out really quickly. When we're talking about money and people saying that certain things weren't sent, all you need is a contract, something in writing, people. That's all you need. So for, for Andy Ruiz to now say, hey, I'd like to fight Dillian White to shut him up. Okay, wonderful. Would you say the same thing about Luis Ortiz? Do you know what I mean? But anyway, um, I would love to see the fight if the fight ever happens. But, you know, don't expect White to, to jump on this all of a sudden. Because, you know, he has this Pavectin fight just he just announced, right? It has a new date now. So, I mean, what, what will he worry about Andy Ruiz? Andy Ruiz, as far as I'm concerned, has to be, he's, he's back at the drawing board. So for him calling out Dillian White, it's it just merely talk at this point. But anyway, that's my counterpunch on Andy Ruiz's comments towards Dillian White. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.